so Paul, what 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 kind of dough? What do you do with your dough on that? That Sicilian pizza is awesome. There's no, it's just the dough risen. Yeah. That's it. Do you like make it a day ahead or a couple Wait, days well, ahead? I, ideally, the dough is always at least a day old. Same day dough doesn't cook right, doesn't perform right in the oven. The same day dough. The, the, it, actually, a couple day old dough is much better. Okay, so we've got another nice dough here. Okay, using our scraper, we've got four more doughs back there in our tray. And I'm just going margarita crazy, man, here today. And uh, get a little bit of semolina on the counter here. Okay. Take, again, press center. Okay, a little bit of press. A little bit of press with the fingers. Bring it back over. A little bit of press. And then this is the top of the pizza here, okay? So, once... You give it a nice little gentle press in the center here. Then you can begin to stretch. Without pulling, putting your hand on the edge of the pizza. You could pull, come back. Now I'm left-handed so I'm, it's harder for me to actually use this stretching technique because I'm doing it in the reverse. But what you want to develop is the cornicione on the pizza. Pull, pull, keep your hand in the center, slow motion, pull, turn, and pull. Stretch and back down. Stretch and back down. Stretch and back down without trying to get your hand on the edge. Stretch. And again, if you need to use a little bit more semolina, then go right ahead. But again, you can see that I can get a nice edge. And you really only want to go out to about 12 inches, okay? Once you get it onto the peel, you can stretch it a little bit more, hand stretch it a little bit more. Alexa, how many minutes left on that? Two minutes and ten seconds left on your eight minute timer. Okay, two minutes and eight seconds left. We're not going to use the peel to turn that pizza. We actually have from Best Fire Earth and Patio right here, we purchased a dome turner. The great part about I like about this is it has a long handle. And it has this holder right here, so you can get right in the oven and turn your pizza and check it out. And we're going to hit it with a little Frantoia olive oil, uh, just to give it a nice flavor and a little color over there. So, what do we need to do now? Put our sign back farther. What we can do is get some semolina onto the peel, put that right here, and pull, pull onto the peel so that it still gets some slidiness to it. You want to be able, okay? So as we go and check that pizza that's in the oven after two minutes, we're going to sauce another one. With this fresh Burmaster Farms plum tomatoes grown on the farm. And uh, we got enough basil on there? Maybe not. Let's put a little bit more. Okay. Mutt Water Farm from the Schenectady Green Market. 
their fresh basil get that all around on this farm to table margarita New York pizza as such get some of the RNG cheese fresh mozzarella cheese Alexa stop timer so that pizza we're gonna go check that and see how that looks bring that out and get this one ready to go in the oven we're gonna make a bunch of margarita classic margarita pizzas here today that's enough cheese on that and let's go check out what's going on in the oven using the long handle you can see the beauty of that see the corner shoney the corner shoney okay we're gonna let that turning pill sit right there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna dress this we don't want to burn in the oven but what we can do is we can dress a little bit of extra virgin olive oil here we got a little bit right back on all right let's see uh, how that pizza looks now after another two minutes in the oven You can see that there. Looks pretty good. Let's look underneath. Oh, look at the feel to that. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful, right? So, you got a nice pizza, even if it doesn't come out perfectly and you got a little hole, you still have a look at that I can hold that in one hand a nice bottom crust to that we'll let that sit we'll get our next one in the oven all right so let us get our next New York State farm to table right there into the oven and uh, close that up now folks this is the first batch of dough that we made we've got seven dough balls out of it and I wasn't happy with the dough entirely but uh, you can see it works perfectly sitting here at room temperature now here is our margarita pizza look at that look, first of all look at the feel look at the cornicione the nice puffy edge. We could have incorporated more air. Let's make sure our pizza peel is tight. And one through. Line it up. Two. Right there. Okay, so this is normally eaten with a fork and knife. You can see that you got a nice edge. to your Napoletan pizza. If you want to slice it down even further, you could. Okay. Now, looking at that, little, it's still a little hot, but I'm going to blow on it and uh, take a bite. I hear that crunk. See the pocket the structure on that? And that's made with all farm to table New York State ingredients. Obviously, when you use a double zero flour, like an Anatipo double zero from Naples, Italy, the dough is much better. But for a New York farm to table a margarita pizza, not bad at all and we can make four more and get that batch of dough out of the way I may even take a couple of these doughs over to some other pizza rear owner friends and let them play with it mm. so eight minutes 
a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil back in the oven beautiful bottom on the stone and you've got a farm to table New York State margarita pizza all right our third one again underneath a little bit give it a pull right onto the peel make sure it's moving okay if it's not moving can't do the camera and it's at the same if it's not moving then it's gonna stick to the peel but I got a little semolina on the peel our fresh oh that one that's in the oven at eight minutes is ready Alexa stop timer again not too close to the edge We're going to go get that one out of, we're going to get the one that's in the oven out and put a little extra virgin olive oil on it. All right, let's get this one out of the oven here. That's the great part about the handle on this thing. We're going to turn up. Okay, you can see that that looks great. Okay, put that up here for a minute, like so. Let's get that dressed with a little vir extra virgin olive oil. The Frantoya. We'll dress that on the board. Get that back in the oven using our turning peel right onto the stone. Close the door, Alexa. Set a timer for two minutes. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. All right, so now we'll finish this one up here. We've got a lot of basil in our sauce, as I told you. We'll put a little bit of this melt team, Meltwater Farms extra basil on here. Just to spread it around a little bit. We'll get some more of this RNG Cheesemakers Fresh Mozzarella. Pull that, put that around. Here goes our third farm to table New York State Margarita Pizza going into the oven. You want to add Pecorino Romano? Go right ahead. I do not. I do not. I uh, keep it as classic as possible. The more air that you push towards the edge, the more you have a greater cell structure on your, on your cornicione, the, the edge of the Napoletan pizza. So I'm doing these really quick. But the more time you take to develop that cell structure, on the edge, the better off your Naples Napoletan Neapolitan pizza is going to be. Those that make pizza know pizza. Right, here we are at 518pizzerias.com, tasteofschenectady.com, the pizza lab. All right, you can see we have beautiful three farm to table. New York State margarita pizzas using the RG RNG cheesemakers fresh mozzarella that we sliced by hand here. Melt water farms fresh basil and Burmaster Farms fresh Italian plum tomatoes. To make this farmer's ground flour milled farm owned farm grown organic wheat and farm milled ground using stone right in upstate New York. We love this flour. We also like Arden Mills in Albany. And um want to show you quickly how to make some dough balls. 
So making Neapolitan-style pizza, uh, the important thing to understand is w w the brick oven. Um, an outdoor pizza oven is a brick oven. Uh, uh, the deck where the pizza cooks is heated uh, with a either a natural gas or a po propane gas or a wood uh, fire and the deck is anywhere the optimum cooking temperature is between 700 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit so you know doing a Neapolitan style pizza in your oven at home it's really more of a mock uh, pizza uh, mock Neapolitan pizza what happens in whether you have a wood-fired oven in a a, a professional pizzeria uh, or a, a um, Neapolitan style oven in a br brick oven that is either natural gas fired or uh, wood fired what happens is you have what's the conduction of the heat from the stone then you have from the top radiant heat that is cooking the top of the pizza and then you have convectional heat that's circulating air and the airflow in a professional pizza neapolitan style pizza oven is what cooks the pizza evenly on all sides conduction from the stone radiant heat from above and circulating heat with the airflow so you know most home ovens only you know heat to 500 degrees Fahrenheit um, you've seen Vito Icapelli and a lot of other pizza pros make a Neapolitan style pizza for homeowners to be able to do it in their home oven but ideally you want to get out to a place like Best Fire Earth and Patio and talk to the team there about a natural gas or a propane powered or a dual fuel uh, and wood fired oven to make true Neapolitan style pizza. Um, and really, you know, in Naples, Italy, they cook these pizzas to uh, anywhere between 8 and 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. The optimum temperature for cooking a Neapolitan style pizza is between 7 and 900 degrees. Fahrenheit, uh, over 900 degrees, you're really going to burn the pizza. So, and and that airflow and that those three different uh, heat uh, methods are going to give that great puffiness. You want a you want a crispy um, edge rim, whatever you want to call the cornicione to the pizza, but you want it to be uh, crispy on the outside and soft and chewy on the inside and they get that nice little bit of char on the on the uh, cornicione the edge of the pizza so so paul what 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 kind of dough what do you do with your dough on that that sicilian pizza is awesome there's no it's just the dough risen yeah that's it do you like make it a day ahead or a couple but, days well, ahead? That, ideally the dough is always at least a day old same day dough doesn't cook right, doesn't perform right in the oven the same day dough. The, the, it, actually, a couple day old dough is much better. You know, this is, uh, I'm more of a Sicilian pizza type guy. Um, using Caputo Semolina, a combination of that, and, and, and Anna Double Zero, or Caputo Double Zero flour. Always using a Poolish with a 24-hour uh, pre-ferment, and then allowing the dough to proof to ferment slowly for another at least 24 hours to 72 hours and during that after 24 hours the dough is ready to use it's stretchable it's elastic it's shiny it's got all the the aspects of what you want in making a uh, good pizza you know the uh the pizza ovens for neapolitan style pizza give you that that blonde amber spotting um, and, and you know, and you, and you just get that different 
you know, the even cooking and the wonderful crust. So I, I highly recommend, you know, using a Neapolitan style oven outdoors for your home. And of course, you know, you got Lorenzo's Southside, you got Pizzeria Michaelina, you have a lot of wood fired uh, Annabelle's uh, Pizza Company in downtown Schenectady. These wood fired pizzerias are popping up everywhere. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. There's a lot to learn. You'll never have a perfect dough. It is a life process of, you know, just continually learning more about this industry, this pizza industry. And you could be, I don't care if you've made pizza 28 years. Guess what? You know, there's still always more to learn. You're only as good as your last meal served, and we know that in the restaurant industry. So hopefully you enjoyed this video from 518pizzerias.com and tasteofschenectady.com. Getting that cornicione on here uh, using a wood-fired oven or an outdoor gas-fired oven is that you're going to get a much more puffiness. This is puffy. You can see the good cell structure there that was done, um, that was shaped right. But outdoors, you're going to get a much, much more fluffy and that get that char in a wood fired or gas fired oven the other thing you have to remember is that this is the new york state farm to table margarita pizza the whole wheat margarita it's a whole wheat flour so organic flour if you're using that what i like to use i prefer is the anna tipo double zero and the caputo double zero semolina that i actually use to both make pizza and to shape pizza um, what you have with that flour is you get a much uh, better consistency. It's a finer ground. Um, whole wheat flour seems to be more dense and heavier. So when you're looking at the cheese is not falling off of this and you see the great cell structure there. But do that in a wood fired oven and you will see that nice edge just blow right up, puff right up and get and as you move it around with your turning peel you want to have one of these long handled turning peels in your wood fired pizza oven outdoors as you lift it and turn it always uh you know go in from the side try to keep the ash off the pizza uh off you see there's no ash here we did this on the stone in the oven but what you want to do is you want to just make sure that you're getting that good lift in the air and not that 900 700 to 900 degree mark will give you a nice fluff up on and a greater cell structure you'll see those wonderful pockets in there and now we taste this mm. oh yeah mm. soft and chewy where the center is nice and crunchy.